In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a teleporter GUI in Roblox Studio. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make a teleporter GUI that teleports you to somewhere in the map of your choice. So let's get in. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to start a GUI. You want to click this plus button and you want to insert a screen GUI here. Okay, so once you've got your screen GUI, you want to click the plus button and you want to insert a frame. You can resize this and scale it to how you want. I'm going to do that and make it look all nice real quick. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so once you've made it look nice, you want to go to the frame and you want to insert a text button. This is going to be the button that the player clicks to teleport to somewhere in the map. So you're going to want to make that look nice and all fancy. I'll do that real quick. Okay, so once you've got that, you want to hit the plus button again and you want to insert a local script like that. In this local script, you want to follow what I type or paste it in the description. I always put my scripts in the description if you want to go on there. So skip to the time that it says on the screen if you've pasted it. So what you want to do is you want to type wait brackets one and then player equals game dot players dot local player button equals script dot parent local debounce equals false. Yep. And then function Let's call it um, teleport, open brackets, close brackets, if not debounce, then debounce equals true, lower torso equals player dot character dot lower torso lower torso dot c frame equals game dot workspace and then what you want to do here is you want to disable the gui thing so you can actually see what you're doing and you need to insert a part this is going to be the part that you um your player teleports to when they click the teleport button so you can resize that make sure to anchor it and go down here and disable can collide and um, your player's lower torso will be teleported here so you want to move it up a bit like I'm going to put mine around there and then you can put the transparency to one like that and name this to um, whatever you want I'm going to do it place one but whatever you name this you have to put in the local script so dot place one and then dot c frame button dot mouse button one click colon connect brackets teleport let's do that and then oops hang on teleport like that enter and then while true do wait brackets debounce equals false wait one second so this wait one second is the cooldown to avoid people spamming the teleport button which could glitch out your game it shouldn't but it can anyway that's to prevent it so as you can see here this should teleport your lower torso of the character to um, place one which is this block here so let's test it out real quickly Okay, so we've got the GUI, and if we click place one, it should teleport us to this spot here. I don't know if you can see that because it's not very clear, but if you look very closely, it does teleport us to the part. So, um, yeah. If you want to add more of these buttons, so if you want multiple places, you just have to hover over here, control D, that would duplicate it. 
move it down and then I'm going to name mine place two and then you can insert another um, one of these duplicate that and then move it um, wherever you want into a different place like here and then name it a different name to the original one so place two for mine and then you need to edit the script here and change that to place two and that will work, hopefully. Let's test it out. Okay, so if we click that, it goes to place one. If we click this, it goes to place two. Like that. So that's pretty much it. I know you can't see my character at the moment, but thank you very much for watching. If you did um, enjoy the video, and if it did help you, like and subscribe, because we're really close to 70 subscribers and we almost we just hit 60 recently which is really good so um yeah if you have any questions or suggestions or anything that you want me to do and please put it in the comments and i will try to answer every single one of them thanks very much for watching and have a good day goodbye